I was actually born in the Philippines, and uh, I've been back there every year since I was 15. And uh, we just opened a hospital in Davao City, and um, and we also have an orphanage there in the Philippines, and I love it. I think that, um, that I just have a huge heart for the Filipino people. I think they're very sweet, and um, you know, it's just my pleasure to go back there and serve and to try to make a difference. I was born in Makati Medical Center. Wow. Yeah. So did you live there at all? Yeah, we lived there for five years. Yeah. Your first five years. And then you're back there every year? Back every year since about 15. So, will it be the last year? Yeah, I'll be there in a few weeks. Oh, where? In Jinsan. Yeah. What do you do Well, we're, we're, we do a lot of different stuff. We're all over and we just try to help any way possible. Oh, so you have the first time you get that. Uh, this is, yeah, this is the first time that we've been first. Do you guys do any You never know. So. You have a chat? Uh, yeah, we've been able to hang a little bit, so it's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Rami Salama, Mom. impressive about watching him is just his competitiveness and his work ethic and his focus on every little detail. Yeah. A lot of people say that when he became a Christian, he sort of lost this killer instinct, which is not really a big thing on the ring. So not a lot of people were in favor of that. So as a Christian, what do you think of that? Well, I think the most important thing that, that Manny has done is he's been an inspiration to so many millions of people all over the world. And um, I think the amazing thing about him is, you know, in life, so much of the time we can make it about us and, and become very selfish, and yeah. he's been able to inspire millions of people for so long, and that's more important than winning any fight, is his ability to inspire and encourage and change so many people's lives, so, yeah, I'm yeah. very proud of him for that. Do you uh, have any Bible talk with him? Um, <laughs> You know, I think he's just getting an inspiration to, you know, me as far as that goes. And I think yeah. just his ability to always be, you know, himself is it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. so are you going to watch the fight? I'm definitely going to watch the fight, yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Will you be cheering for Pacquiao? <laughs> I'm, right, I'm be rooting for a great fight. And, um, you know, I'm always, um, I'm rooting for everybody to do their best. And, you know, this guy's such an inspiration. So it's really cool to be able to see someone using their talents for so many good things beyond just winning a fight and beyond just themselves. Okay, Thank you. God bless. Sino hindi nakakilala sa kanya? So, ano mo sabi mo sa kanya? He's popular. And the important thing about like him is my, 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 my favorite. Oh, why is he your favorite? Huh? Why is he your favorite? Huh? So good, good. Um, you know, the most... Um, why I like him? I like him because he helped a lot. He helped people, especially in the Philippines. Yeah. In Mindanao area, he helped a lot. Yeah. But that's why I'm a huge fan of his, though, is because... He's inspired so many people, and like I was telling you earlier, for him it's more than just fighting. It's being able to encourage so many people, and there's so many millions that look up to him, and I think that's so cool because, you know, sometimes God puts us in a position, and you, you can do so much more than just 
um, help yourself with it. When you can turn it around to help other people, which he's done, then you're really doing something that matters, and that's cool. You know, when I see both of you, I think you both are really special. You have a special calling in each of your sports. But the most important thing is not our fame, it's not our what, what, I, what we have done. It's about Jesus. It's about Jesus that we proclaim to, to the whole world. That's exactly right. Because, um, you know, God's the one that gives us the talent. And, you know, my goal, and I think it's your goal, is to be able to turn around and, and show Jesus to people. And because um, that's the ultimate. Because you really want to have a life of significance, a life that matters. And it doesn't just matter if, you know, people know who you are. It matters if they know who Jesus is. And that's cool. Yeah, and the Bible says, what a, what a profit of money to gain the whole world and he loses, loses his own soul. Yeah. yeah. It's the most important to have Jesus. Jesus is the only way it's all Yeah, both of you boldly proclaim Jesus. That's so oh, awesome. Everywhere. All over the world. <laughs> proclaim Jesus. I know, him after he's touched on the floor. <laughs> and people used to criticize him for that. Like, like, yeah. yeah. People used to say, like, why, you know, you're so open. They used to call it Tebow Wade. And then, right? <laughs> Like the Lord Jesus said, make every effort to enter through the narrow door because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. But those people who are will not be able to is those people who are criticizing the Christians. Well, I think for me, what I'm so grateful for is grace, you know, because no matter how hard you try, you always fail and you always fall short. And that's why, that's why God's grace is so cool, you know, and it's always sufficient for any of your needs because as hard as you try, you'll never be good enough. But that's why God's grace and what he did on the cross, that's enough. Yeah, the answer is Jesus. Because uh, we're not perfect, so we need Jesus. Are you going to pray for him? Of course. I always do. Oh, you do? I do. Message for him for the fight I think that um, God calls all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And so no matter what happens, there's more important things. And it's about how we're able to take the positions and the platform God gives us and what we can do with that. And that's what that's why I'm most proud of him. That's the most important thing. Relationship, Jesus. It's not about fame, it's not about material things. You guys have the same aura. You can see it's like an immediate connection. Right? Yeah, it's like same spirit. We're serving the Lord. Amen. Okay. And we were born in the same spot, so. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. Yeah. But this is the first time you met him. Yeah. You born in Jensan. Jensan. No, I was born in Makati, man. But I lived in Jensan. You live in Jensan for five years, yeah. Oh, you live in Jensan? Yeah. Yeah. Are your parents are missing that? Yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I learned something today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Freddie wants a picture. Yeah. Oh, maybe you pray over. Yeah. I want a picture also. 